Hey, welcome back to the shop. My name's John, and today we are going to turn this into this. Today we are building some flusher nozzles for a local company. This is a simple weldment that's intended to be pushed down a sewer main and pulled back and forth, and these holes in the nozzle down here will blow debris back. They are a wear out item, and they need some more. So the only difference between this and what we're actually building today is that the, the model that we're building today has four extra bars coming off of each one of these paddles. And I guess it helps keep this nozzle from catching on anything. So we're gonna do a, a slight modification to this uh, to make it more of the flavor that they like. Yes, this has touched human poop. He caught the shit poop! <laughs> it's a shitty job, but somebody's gotta do it. Let's get into it. That was creepier than I intended. Yep. So the material for this job was pretty simple to source. We're just using some two inch by quarter inch cold rolled steel for those paddles on the outside. Of course, we're using three eighths bars for those bars we're gonna add up top. And then the whole frame is actually just built on a three quarter inch schedule 80 pipe nipple. Bringing in the flat bar was easy because I can just call our local supplier to do that. But these Schedule 80 pipe nipples were a little harder to source. So I like to use McMastercar.com to get those. Uh, the guys who know that site, know. But uh, if you haven't heard of McMaster Car, oh my gosh, you need to go and check that out. You will love that site for getting small, uh, you know, low quantity things for your customers or just your hobby shop. So I've chosen to TIG weld these together, and uh, although the MIG would be faster, when I get to welding the bars to the flusher nozzle, I think it's just a little bit too fussy to use the MIG, at least with my skills. So I'm going to take it all together, so here I am just at the lathe, and I'm just cleaning off that mill, mill scale that's on this 3 quarter inch pipe nipple. Sometimes they paint these things and it's a real pain in the butt to get them cleaned up, but uh, this one was bare, just had to pull off that uh, grody mill scale. Uh, so this thing will weld up super nice. Okay, we've got all the raw materials prepped and ready, so let's get those tacked together. We'll weld them, and then we can start working on bending our 3 8 round bar. So all I'm really going off of for what these bars are supposed to look like is a grainy cell phone picture from my customer. There's nothing really fussy about them, so it's not a big deal. So what I did off camera was just cut a couple slices off this 3 8 bar and just figure out exactly how long I wanted these pieces to be and where I was going to introduce that bend because I wanted them to line up in the right spot on the flusher nozzle so I'd have room to weld and I wouldn't get in the way of any of those uh, little orifices in there. Then all I need to do is sand each end of these to match the contour on the top of the flusher nozzle, and then the angle on the paddles. Just getting it close, the welder's gonna fill in the rest. I just wanna make sure the fitment's nice enough to weld and that uh, these aren't gonna snag on anything.
good stuff. Oh, that's bad. All right, that wraps up our flusher nozzle. I had fun building this thing and I'm really happy with how it turned out. And I know the shop's gonna be happy to get these back and get them into service. As always, please don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed, like the video if you liked it, and uh, leave a comment if uh, you got something to tell me. I read all the comments. If this video gets over 1,000 likes, then I will lick this flusher nozzle with my bare tongue. And Leandra, who's behind the camera gagging, will really not enjoy it, so. <laughs> and don't forget, you can buy us a coffee. It's so easy to buy us a coffee. You just go in the description, click the link, and buy us a coffee. We're so thirsty here. Quench our thirst, please. Anyways, thanks for checking this out. Have a lovely day, and I'll see you on the next one. Ugh. Welcome back to the shop. <laughs> it's like amazing how I can forget the simplest shit. The shape of this is just to not catch on anything and to be easy to shove back and forth down a pipe and to somewhat self-center itself in that pipe. I hate everything. Did mm, any of that sound that. intelligible? Yeah. Oh, Leandra, this is, I'm gonna lick my finger after this just to prove that it'll be all right. I'll do it next week though. I don't wanna get sick from my trip. Okay. Are you gonna remember that or do I need to like write it down somewhere? So powerful. I feel like you're a little uneasy today. Like a lot of stuff's really messing you up. Oh, it smells like my dad. Oh, that's disgusting. I don't want to touch something that touched shit. I mean, what's up with you today? Yeah, that's, see, that's it. That's, that's because you're broken and uh, everybody else is just normal. If our roles were reversed, I would be asking you a lot of questions like that. I can only say that. You're so damn neurotypical, it's unbelievable. Those savages may not have chamfered their holes, but we're gonna, because we're decent human beings. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that's not supposed to happen. We've got all our raw materials ready to go here. Let's get them tacked together, we'll weld it out, and then we'll work on bending up our little thingies. It'd be a poop whisk. That's exactly what it is. It's a poop churner, at least. Like, I mean, it's a whisk. I don't know. It's like whisk. I need to, I think a whisk is a very specific movement. Whisking, you know, like. Dang. Screwed that one up. Ugh, there's dirty. I think that's toilet paper. I really want to sniff these. I just don't know how to incorporate it into. I don't mind if it's a little bit horrifying. <laughs> it's the last time this ever won't smell like poop. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely something funky there. <laughs> uh, um, hey guys, thanks for coming along for the journey. Our customers are going to be super happy. Right shit, here. you're good at Subscribe, this. Subscribe, buy us a coffee, and we'll see you in the next one. Yeah, I like how you said that. Let's just do it again. I'm really happy with how it turned out and I'm sure the guys are gonna be happy to get it back at the shop because this, uh, the style with these bars is their favorite style. Does that make sense? It's I just weird. want to- It's weird for them to have a favorite style and look like 